hello guys welcome back to another blender tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can give any character with the 52 shape kings in blender this is going to be a very simple because i'm going to provide you all the needed files to give you the shape kings python file with the add-on and the 52 blend shape kings blender file so i will leave this in the description so now let's begin First, I'm going to append my character I'm going to use. Here, I'm going to start with an auto rig. Now, I have finished appending my character. Let's go to post mode and check if everything is cool. So, you can see I have read the face and everything has been read perfect. I use auto rig for this. And if you want to learn how to use auto rig to rig your character, check the video and link in the description. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the add-on. So let's go to edit preference and install. Locate okay, here you have the add-on and then click on shape kit. Just click on this and enable it. This will be available on the animation tab and you have this animation tools and transfer animation. I'm going to show you how you can use this. The next thing is let's go to file and then link we are going to link the 52 shape kings so double click on it go to collection and you have auto rig pro and meta rig this character we use auto rig for this character so if you use meta rig import the meta rig after this i will show you how to set up for meta rig so double click the auto rig and now it will import here since we link the file, we can go to object and library override and make it. Let's move to this side. And now you can see this rig has animation on it. You can see it from the here, the timeline here it has animation. So how can we transfer this animation to this character? It's going to be very easy. First, we are going to use this add-on we just installed to link the animation to this character. Check this rig is called rig.01. So on here, transfer animation. We are going to use the source rig is the rig that has the animation. That's the one we just link. So just go here and search for the rig 03. This is the rig with the animation and the source. And the target rig is the rig that is going to receive the animation, which is the rig. There's the name here. And just click on transfer animation and hit OK. Right now, you can see the jaw has opened and our character is performing all the 52 shape kings. Each keyframe represents a shape king. Can you go to post mode and select all your rig? You can see it has this keyframe over here now our next thing is how we can save this as a shape king so when you select your character body and you go to data you can see you don't have any shape king over here we are going to bind the character the upper and the lower tip to the body you can see this one all of them has been separate so I'm going to bind them to the character body first. First, let's go and select the tank and the lower teeth and the upper teeth. You can see I have just selected them all and shift select the body and join them. If all of them has already been joined, just leave it like that. So now you can see all of them have joined into one mesh. I'm going to join plus the eyebrows so let's join that one so all of them has been joined let's leave the eyes and this is not going to affect the influence of the character rigging you can just separate them by going to edit mode first you select everything mp and you can choose loose by part and it will undo that now to save any this as a shape king Let's go to our timeline and when you scroll to your timeline and you find any post that is good and you can save it as a shape king so like on frame 
and then here the left eye closing you can click on the save as shape key and choose a name i close l let's change for the left eye and click on ok now you can see it has two key here one is the basics and one is the one we just created this one is for the original pose and this is the one we have created so let's go to another for example let's here let's leave the one for the eyes so here you can just click on save as shape key give it a name laid up like here you can call jaw left so i'm going to speed up the video and finish naming all of them Now, after you have done saving all your shape keys, so here I just using a random names for them, so it's not perfect. So make sure you choose a right name for them. After you finish, just select your character rig and click on clean rig. This will reset your pose and delete all the keyframes, so that you can go to pose mode and keyframe and do your animation. Right, and when you select the character body, you can access all your your shape key you just created if you see this one like if you want to move further you can increase the mass to maybe two and you can move it further or you can just give it five volume and it will move further like this just increase increase the mass volume and you can ink pull it very strong so, so mouth open here you can just increase this to maybe two and have it like this so if you see this 1.7 is better so i can choose one point maybe eight as a mask so that i don't go beyond that so this supposed to be a blink but you can see the eyes don't don't close to have the blink so you can increase the mass to maybe two and see let's do it maybe 1.2 so 1.2 and then select the character body let's go to sculpt mode and you can use g and use the s mirror here you can just shape it where to have the close Now when you're done, you can go back to close mode or go to object mode. So here you can set the volume and have a nice blinking like this. So any pose or any shape key you want to check, you can just go to sculpt mode and do it. So now guys, this is the end. So and next I'll show you how to use the metallic one. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. So if you find any bug on the script you, I provided, please leave the link. Leave a comment and I'll face that one. Thank you for watching.